Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to downtown historic Arcadia. I believe I have found a hidden gem on the second story of the old opera house. The Heard Opera House was constructed in 1906, but today is home of one of the wackiest, coolest, and funniest antique stores I've ever been in. Welcome to the Bizarre Bazaar. Thank you for joining me, everyone. I am Tampa J. We're about to head up the staircase to check it out. There is much ahead, my friends. And here we go, up these old crickety and wooden steps. Now this entire antique store encompasses the entire opera house. The stage is right through those doors, and that is the main room. Caution, slicey, pointy things, breaking, smashy things. Watch your children. Dead people stuff for sale. First thing that caught my eye is Pee Wee's Piranha. Now that's pop art for you right there. That's amazing. Ladies and gentlemen, this is James, the owner of the Bizarre Bazaar. Hello. How you doing? I'm doing fine, thanks. Thanks for coming by. Um, this is the Arcadia Opera House, as you probably have been told. Uh, we're in the main theater here. Uh, it was built in 1906. Uh, there was a Thanksgiving Day fire in 1905 that burned the whole street down. And so this is one of the first buildings they rebuilt. And uh, we've got our fair share of ghosts up here. It's a well-known haunted establishment, has been since I took over. Um, we've got ghost hunting teams, paranormal investigative teams that come in pretty much all season long and find enough to keep coming back over and over again. So I guess the place is haunted. And here is the main room, which was the theater. I think we'll explore the stage area first. Here we go. Up on stage, oh wow. This is awesome. Look at this old buggy and that's, that's not just what I'm awing up here. Over to my right, there's some old stage lights. Check out the old back door to the stage and look up into the rafters. Look up there, coming across. There's so much above behind and below. Oh my goodness. I believe we found the Phantom of the Opera. Well, that spooked me. I didn't expect that. Yep, that's definitely a noose. Well, I found the Phantom's organ. It sits on the back wall of the stage and check out the old marching band instruments. Now, on this frame, there is so much going on. Spartacus there and his chariot Check that out, but over here to the left is an old 35 millimeter projector. I believe that's 35 millimeter. Oh my goodness, look at this old can. It's a real can. Very eerie, the lighting over here. There's some more projectors. Some kind of table. What are these? These are some kind of, I don't know. It looks like some kind of printing device, actually. Look at this, another organ. Sign says, Roman Chariot, formerly from Circus World, once located near Orlando. Look at this kerosene lamp and what looks to be a copper bowl. It says, theater stage lighting, burn NAFTA mid 1800s. This mirror light fixture was in the ceiling of the theater and used for dances during the 20s and 30s. And here's a look out into the rest of the store from the corner of the back of the stage. We've only just begun, my friends. There is still much ahead, and we've already seen some pretty cool stuff. A rare early 1900s Lion and Healy harp case. It's the first time I've ever seen one of those. Mabel Page appeared here in 1908. And next to this door where the picture's hanging, they put some plexiglass over all these writings. And I'll look in the dates of some of these. I, I believe I see 1922. There's all kinds of stuff written 
on the walls. There's someone named John there. What's this? Flighty Frolid. Hmm. It doesn't ring a bell. Here's a look over the main room. I think we're gonna head back straight underneath there and just kind of work our way around. Hubert Humphrey for president. Hmm. Definitely love seeing the old bottle glass, the old vintage sodas. What's this one? Squam Scott? Here's one that's a stone bottle. It says J. Bourne and Son? Jason Bourne? Look at the old glow in the dark glass. Perfectly displayed with a black light, even. All right, so we're finally heading into another room. I see a lot of taxidermy in here. Wow, there's another old projector. That one looks to be even older. Oh no, oh my gosh. Someone better help that lady out. Oh wow, hey lady, you okay up there? Kinda reminds me of that scene from Poltergeist. This place definitely is bizarre. Wow. Check it out. Ooh, I see a Zoltar machine over there. Check this guy. I believe that's a hyena. And a buck up there. Welcome to the art gallery. This room devoted to art. Baby says, howdy folks, you're just in time to be, I mean, have supper. Papa says, you're gonna spook him, Junior. Now this is pretty freaking cool. It's the silent film projector that was used here in the theater in 1916. Used into the mid 20s, it says. Wow. Can you imagine all the silent films? that were played on this. Probably a lot of Chaplin. All right, James gave me a quarter so we can play the great Madame Zoltar. All right, I'm gonna make it count. I wish I was little. Okay. There you go. It looks like Looks like a six of clubs. Six or seven. You know what you did, and so do the cops. Go home and repent. Oh no. How did you know? What's going on here? Hello, Mr. Elephant. Occupied. Oh, I think it's a changing room. Thank God no one's in here. Hello, oh, I know why it's a changing room. Because right behind this, that other room, is a little bo boutique, boutique. Check out the collection of awesome Hawaiian shirts. Okay, room number four. James said that this room is the most haunted room in all of the opera house. That's because the story goes that a 10 year old little girl fell out one of these windows to her death. Ooh, I'm getting cold chills just saying that. I wonder which window it was. But supposedly, she haunts this room. Okay, now we're looking back towards the door we came through. Is there anyone in here? We mean you no harm. I hear something, but it's coming from the other room. Welcome to room number five, the record shop. All right, Van Halen. Here's a look from the opposite angle. Check out the old record exchange sign. Sincerely, Fabia. This old Elvis bust in the corner is pretty cool, but right below him, I like that. That's a cool mirror. Well, hello there. Hey. Now, this is awesome. They're old storybooks of the making of movies. Ben Hur 
one of the only movies to ever win 11 Academy Awards. I believe I found the old ticket window. There's, I think there's someone in there. Well, hello there. How you doing today? Prescripto. Prescriptio. You see something wrong with this mirror? Wow. That's spooky. Earlier we heard James talk about the Great Fire of Arcadia in 1905. Here are the ashes from the fire. And on this site in 1897, nothing happened. I was just about to enter the library when I saw this sign that says, Beware of the Attack Hassocks. Oh. All kinds of comic books right smack dab in the middle of the room. Heavy metal. Check out all these vintage books here. All wrapped neatly in plastic. H.G. Wells, The Island of Dr. Maru. Here's looking to you too, buddy. Check out these antique lamps. These are so cool. I don't make them like this anymore. Matt Collin. That's a cool looking genie. I've noticed these signs throughout the theater. They look like the old cards for the movies that may have played here. There's Forrest Gump. One of my personal favorites. The Frighteners. Here's some photos of the area. Carlstrom Field, World War I, circa 1918, near Arcadia. That's pretty cool. There's a old Florida Cracker Cowboy there. Check out this gentleman with the old train and look, it's the first and original Arcadia Opera House. And there's Main Street. That's the building across the street here. It's very cool. And look who it is. It's old Acrefoot. James Mitchell Akerfoot Johnson, Florida's version of Paul Bunyan. We learned about him in the last video. This guy just keeps eyeing me. Keep your hands close. There is still much more down the hall. Here's an original copy of Oswaldo Guriasman, I think that's how you pronounce it, of the cry. Well, we have lost Tweety Bird. Well, look at this. This gentleman goes by the name, or went by the name, of Zeba King, the cattle king of South Florida. He lived in these parts. He owned more land than any other cattleman. And it says here that he was six feet six inches, making him another Florida giant, just like good old Acrefoot. Now, any good old linesman would appreciate this. Here's a display of all the different types of barbed wire, very important back in the heyday of Florida cattle. So last week when I was at the Indiana Basketball Hall of Fame, I said I thought I had found one of the oldest panoramic photos. Well, just found one a little older. Check out this. Look at all the motorcycles and cars. It looks like this is during World War I. Look at all the soldiers. Let's see if I can get a little closer. It's hard to read the description. I do see Arcadia though, so it must have been the military base. Gator Roach Hives, Arcadia, Florida, late 1920s. From DeSoto Chemical Company. I so bad want to know where this place is and if it still exists. Well, check it out. I found another room full of art. A lot of folk art in here. Oh, hello, Lina Margie. <laughs> this is pretty cool. All kinds of cool stuff throughout this museum. I couldn't wait to come out here and share this with you. I actually got a hotel and stayed the night just so I could come back and capture this place. I was dead tired yesterday after creating two videos. When I found this place, I asked James if I could come back, and he said, of course. So I got a hotel and I stayed the night out here in Arcadia. Here's some old movie posters just piled in the corner. Look at this, Condor Man. Oh, wow. 
how these are folded. These are from the theater. I might be uh, going through these in a little later. Might purchase something, but you know that they're original movie posters when they're folded like this. It means they used to be in the window. That's what the theaters used to do. Wow, I can't wait to go through this stack. Yeah, totally missed this room. Check out the collection of Star Trek toys. Look at this. This whole entire bin is filled with Star Trek action figures. Wow. Let me just pull a couple out. Look at that Ghoul Ducat. Hope I'm pronouncing that right. I'm not as big as tracky as I am a Star Wars fan, but these are cool. Wow. Shout out. Oh, look. It's the Borg. I know who the Borg are. All Star Trek VHS tapes. 50 bucks for that whole lot. Some of them haven't even been opened. This is an old toy here. Check out this old pillow. Oh my gosh, it's Hansel and Gretel. That's really creepy. What little boy or girl would want to cuddle up with that at night? Friar Tuck from Robin Hood. This is an action figure. I never thought I would ever find. Also, that's Professor Bean from Richie Rich. <laughs> Going back to the 80s. Spalding. Look at these. I think my mom had those. <laughs> oh, these are cool. Oh, they're Jordans. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. Douglas Fairbanks, a thief of Baghdad. That's a cool poster. Here's the old ISIS gallery. Check out the old Little Rascals movie poster. That's a relic for sure. Fly my kite. Keep the history alive. Please leave your kind comments on tripadvisor.com. Thank you for visiting James Crosby. Do me a favor, go on there and let people know how awesome this place is. Hope you guys get to come here yourselves one day. Okay, the sign pointing to the button. It says spin it right round, baby. Right round, like a record, baby. Right round, round, round. Oh, it moves the display case. <laughs> Oh man, that's funny. Check out this old cookie jar. That's pretty cool. Monkey on the stump. Check out this 1950 television. It's a golden throat. It could be yours for 350 bucks. RCA. Freshen up with a 7-Up float. Remember these? Check out the old 3D glasses. These old posters. Take your girly to the movies. If you can't make love at home, <laughs> that's a heck of a tagline right there. This banner stretches across the top balcony. Some old posters from the State Theater too. Circa 1930s as that sign says. Well check it out, it's Captain Laser as I just learned. Pretty cool. Oh my gosh, look what I have just found. Yes! The Bizarre Bazaar. Uh oh. That's just your fly. We're good. What you got there? It's a 1930s, 40s movie poster that's backed on linen. It's called a three sheet. Let's pretend we're sweethearts. J.O. Wagner, Lola Lane. Perfect timing for Valentine's Day coming up too. There you go, sweethearts. Get your sweetheart an old movie poster right here at the Bizarre Bazaar. Well, was I wrong when I said we found a hidden gem? I don't know about you, but I think places like this is pretty freaking awesome. I'm gonna go through these old movies posters, see if there's something I want.
Check this out. Kenny Rogers is Brewster Baker. <laughs> Has chicken. I've heard his music, but I've never watched one of his movies. Oh wow. I might buy this one. There's nothing like good old Walt Disney movies, especially the Apple Dumpling Game rides again. The Island on Top of the World, another Walt Disney movie. I'm gonna have to take a few of these. Oh my gosh. Arthur. This is one of my favorite movies. I have a lot of favorite movies, but definitely love Arthur. One of the best comedies of all time. One of my favorite lines. The lady asked him, How rich are you? He replies, Well, I wish I had a dime for every dime I had. <laughs> oh man, I'm definitely getting this one. Well, Mr. Raven, what do you think of the Arcadia Opera House? Tippy Hadron would love it. By the way, Tippy says for you to stay the hell out of her dressing room. Oh man. Well, hey, Derek Jeter, what do you think about the Arcadia Opera House? Use of my likeness for any unlicensed promotion will result in legal action. Well, good luck getting into the Baseball Hall of Fame. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed the tour of the second floor of the old opera house. I had a great time. I hope you thought it was fun and cool as I did. I really think that this here is a hidden gem. Come on down to Arcadia. Again, there's all kinds of antique stores here. I could not even cover them all in one video. So maybe we'll be back one day. As I always say, there's much ahead. Thanks for watching me, everyone. I am Tampa J, and I love to make videos. If it was your first time here, come on back. I hope to see you next time. It's time for me to head on back to Tampa Bay. Maybe